Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Don't Touch My Afro, and today we're gonna do the 13 questions tag. Turn it up loud. Hey y'all, so if you are new to my channel, um, welcome sunflowers, you know, you know, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button on this video, and watch my other ones, and if you like those as well, hit the like button. And then if you are returning, hey y'all, what's up sis? I'm happy you're back. So today we're going to be doing the 13 questions tag. And I stole it from my girlfriend. Shh. So we're going to be doing the 13 questions tag. Question number one. What do you order at Starbucks? Um, I'm, I have on my headphones and... My girlfriend is on my laptop, and then, yeah, I'm recording. So, if you see me, like, looking over there, anything, that's what it is. So, I only order literally one thing when I go to Starbucks. I get the same thing every time. I get the vanilla bean frappuccino, y'all. Life-changing. Get it? Get it, and you'll see. You'll know, you'll know what I'm talking about. What's one thing in your closet you cannot live without? I cannot live without my turbans. Um, they're infinity scarves that I got from Charlotte Russe. I think like buy two get one free or something like that or buy one get the other one free. But I cannot live without those in my closet because when my hair looks a mess, wrap that bad boy up, throw on some hoop earrings, done. Um. Yes, because you just look flawless with literally a head wrap, put on a little beat. If you don't want to, you can have a fresh face, some hoop earrings, and you look golden. Like, you look good. You look good, sis. Question number two. What's one thing that most people probably wouldn't know about you? Hmm. People probably don't know about me. I'm trying to really think. Like, I'm a super social person. So, like, even if I see you and I don't even know who you are, never seen you a day in my life, I'll speak to you. I speak to random people. I say hi to strangers. I'm that type of a person. But I love, love, love to be alone. I hate, like, being around people constantly. So, yeah, maybe that's something that people don't know about me. Because even though, like, I'm so social and I love people, I also don't like to be around people all the time question number four name one thing that you want to do before you die that's easy like I literally just I literally want to just travel the world I want to travel as much as I can until I can't that's the goal and with the love of my life that's what I want to do travel the world with the love of my life question number five what's one food that you cannot live without crab legs Crab legs. If you know me, you know seafood is my thing. She's listening to music and cleaning her room and it just got me the feels, you know? Number six. What quote or phrase do you live your life by? So I live my life by this beautiful quote by Aubrey Hepburn, and it's nothing is impossible. The word itself says I'm possible. And that's so true because for myself, I think one thing I constantly start off, like if I get an idea in my head and say I want to open up a business, the first thing I possibly think of, and I think probably it's because of my anxiety, I think of everything that could possibly go wrong. I think of all the reasons why I can't do something. And that's not a good space to be in. So I really try to not be in that headspace because that's not, that's not good. That's not good. Ugh. Question number six. <laughs> what do you like and dislike about the YouTube community? So I think that my like is my same as my dislike. I dislike that the YouTube community is so big because I feel like we all have crafts. I feel like we all have talents that we want 
you know, to reach so many people because you may feel like that may be your calling is to reach as many people as you can with your art and your craft, your talent, you know? So because it's so big, sometimes I feel like it's so hard for people to be able to notice you for your craft and your talent. And then it's like you put in so many hard work on these videos and you want people to see them. But because it's so big, sometimes your video gets lost in the sauce. But that's actually the same reason why I like YouTube. Because it is so big, there are so many people out there who may be doing what you're doing, but because we're all different and we all... Even though, like, I'm doing to make a video and the next person is doing to make a video, we all sprinkle, sprinkle our own little sauce onto, you know, onto our craft, which makes it a little bit more unique than the next person because we all bring something different to the table. And I also like that it's so big because I feel like I could be surrounded by a million people like in my reality and nobody likes the same things I like like nobody could possibly be into makeup as much as I am maybe I like to build robots and nobody around me likes to build robots that essence you can go on YouTube you can go onto the web and you can find somebody in freaking Japan and you could be in Canada you know and boom you found somebody who like what you like so I think that's one thing that I think is really cool about YouTube and I, that's what makes me appreciate it being big. Question number eight. What's your number one most listened to song on iTunes? Let's see. Let's see what the number one listen to song is. Okay. I don't know if this is right because I feel like I really don't listen to the song like that anymore. So I don't know. But it says that my number one most listened to song is Juke Jam by Chance the Rapper with Justin Bieber. And I don't think that's true no more. I think iTunes is trying to play me because I did look it up a while ago and it said that it was Juke Jam. I really don't think it's Juke Jam anymore. Like, hello, Cardi done came out with a whole album that I played endlessly. Question number nine. What kind of style would you define yourself as having? I feel like my style changes so much. So to, to pinpoint what my style is, I don't really know. Because it could be super casual, wanting to wear like a t-shirt, some jeans, you know, some sandals, some sneakers. I don't know. I literally go back and forth all the time. You feel me? So I really don't know what my style is. I'm still trying to find what my style is and I'm still searching. I'm forever searching and I'll probably forever be searching. Question number 10. What is your favorite number? Um, my favorite number is 21. What's 9 plus 10? 21. You stupid. For multiple reasons. Has a lot of significance to me. So yeah, the number 21. Number 11. Two hobbies. One of my hobbies would, aside from YouTube and makeup, my num one of my hobbies would be painting. I love painting. I picked it up not too long ago, and it just makes it just helps me to be able to release so much. And I really like it, and it's creative. I'm not the greatest at it, but I try, and it's just fun for me to be able to learn. And then my second hobby right now will be planning. I love to like plan inside of my planner, which I just picked up as well not too long ago. I um change my hobbies a lot because I like to experiment with new things I like to learn new things and yeah so my hobbies change a lot but right now today it's planning and painting two pet peeves my first pet peeve is when people don't ask about you like so if you're texting somebody and you're like and they like they're like hey girl and then they just want to start off with all their problems like hello ask about me my cat my closet, my air freshener, like, ask about me how I'm doing, you know? And then my second pet peeve is people not following through with what they said they would do. That irritates me because if that's the case, just don't say it. But if you say you're going to do it, do it. Please and thank you. For 13, what is your guilty pleasure? Plain and simple TV. I don't watch TV as much as I used to anymore. Like, not at all as much as I used to. However, it is still such a huge guilty pleasure of mine. I love, 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 love 
Love and Hip Hop, Grey's Anatomy, um, This Is Us, Are You The One. I could go on for days because it's that crazy. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for the end of this video. If you guys like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, please subscribe. There will be a link at the end of the video. Yes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.